guys, welcome to Millennial Moms. I'm Tay, which means it's Tuesday. Today, I'm showing you a couple hacks as a mom, how you can enjoy crafting a little bit more and feel a little less guilty about spending some time on a guilty pleasure like crafting. So before we get started, don't forget, click the big thumbs up to show you you love us and the subscribe button so you don't miss us. Let's go. Use coupon apps like Joann's, Michael's, and Hobby Lobby to get the best deal on all of your craft supplies. You can even double up on coupons sometimes and they even take competitor coupons. Store all of your stuff in a very convenient place like one basket so that when you do have a craft project you have one place to go and most everything you need is all in one spot. Organize your pens by the type of pen they are and put them in these tins so that you can pull out for whatever project you're working on and conveniently just put them back in. Store all of your products in something trendy that you can keep nearby and nobody will even know that your craft supplies are there. Shop out of season products and use spray paint to update them like these Christmas tins I got for 60 cents at Hobby Lobby right after Christmas. Use things you already have, like this old cute thing that used to be wood and we just spray painted it and spruced it up with some scrapbooking paper. Get your kids involved with their projects and let them help as much as they can. Label everything from where you can see it with these chalkboard labels so that you can change out the products that are inside of it and change the labels. Store your current project in one large box so you can just go back to it easily and you can just pick it up really quickly when you're done. Host a craft party where your friends come over and you all finish crafts or work on one craft together. It's really the most fun thing you could ever do and it gives you a great excuse to get together with your girls. And if you're really ambitious, wait till the kids go to sleep, but you can also set the time back if you're anxious to get your crafts done. If you're like me and you like to watch Netflix, you might become into a slump like this and find yourself watching new episodes over and over and maybe even feeling a little guilty and maybe not. However, sometimes it's not the best idea just to sit and watch TV, especially because it is one of our guilty pleasures. So I encourage you to do your craft time at the same time as catching up on your shows. Make a mess and have fun. It's your time to let loose and just get creative. And then lastly, if you're great at what you do, sell on Etsy or at a craft fair. Making crafts for a purpose is just one of the best things about being good at crafting. All right, guys, I hope you loved this. I know for me, I love excuses to craft. So before you guys go, don't forget, we upload Monday through Saturday to find Jamie and Jordan. Jamie's yesterday, Jordan's tomorrow. They're both amazing with every other mom on this channel so don't leave without clicking subscribe we love you guys and if you want to see more of me go on over to auntie tay i'm always in the comments below talking to you guys love you guys goodbye